Hey everyone, it's John. It is Dry Fire Monday, sponsored by Mantis X Firearms Performance System. And we're going to keep working today on chunking, on getting uh, micro drills. And today, last week, we worked to get to the holster. And now we're going to work out of the holster to continue to build our draw stroke one micro drill at a time. Whether in dry fire or in live fire, the Mantis X Firearms training system really helps you to get better every day with your defensive shooting. I use mine all the time. So let's start by remembering what we did last week. If you didn't catch us last week, you want to kind of catch up, right? So all we were doing on last week is we were standing here, whether we're in a uh, defensive fence, which I really like a defensive fence, or we're hands down at our sides or whatever, and we're bringing the, the cover garment up and out, which again, I am indexing my uh, pinky finger on my sternum. So I'm indexing pinky finger on sternum because I have a habit of coming up too high. I have a habit of coming up here and then tossing my shirt. So instead, we're working this week coming up to the sternum and getting the grip on the gun. I want to mention just a little bit about that, right? So for a beginning shooter, I am going to say your thumb drives behind the gun and you get a full firing grip on the gun. That is what a beginning shooter needs to do because for a beginning shooter, for somebody who is just working on the draw, somebody who is learning new things, you do not want to be messing around with changing your grip at all once your dominant hand is on the gun. For intermediate to advanced shooters, okay? And so what would I call an intermediate shooter? Um, if you can um, safely draw the firearm every time, um, you can do something like 40 out of 50 on a dot torture. Um, uh, you can uh, run the 5x5 drill clean uh, for the most part. You know, Gila Hayes version of the 5x5 drill. Then, okay, now we can then start working in a spot where we know we, we have our hands. So if you look here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually tilt you down a little bit. We're working out of my stuff here. So what I tend to do, um, as I was taught by my teachers, uh, particularly Scott Jedlinski, is when the gun is in the holster, I'm kind of over the inside uh, sight is what I am right there. So that's kind of where it is when it goes on me, and that is my full firing grip. Why? Well, if I absolutely had to, I could shoot a shot with that. It's gonna foul the, the slide, obviously, but I can get one. But also, what it does, it allows me to get in there, and maybe that's my, my chubbiness, which I'm working on. I'm losing a bunch of weight, so I'm not losing anything. I'm working off a bunch of weight. But I can also, as soon as the gun comes out, drop that thumb over, bang, 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 and I don't have any problems. So that's what I'm okay with there. Now, let's come back here, and we'll talk about that a little bit more. So. We've worked to here, and we were working on, whoa, coming up to here, getting that index. I'm still working on that index and doing it better, okay? So again, I'm coming up here and getting that full firing grip that I want on the pistol. So I'm not going to get any higher on the gun from here, and then I'm going to drive the gun out and make it do its thing, right? So, and we worked on it last week where I'm working to get where it's coming on the beat. So I'm cold. I have not done any reps of practice, and I know I can't verify that for you. You're just going to have to trust me. Let's see if I can get a few of those and just remember that from last week. So we're going to uh, turn this guy on probably is helpful. And then let's see what our time is. Do, do, do. No, I don't want a second beep right now. I was working on my draw to first shot earlier, so I don't want a second beep. I just want to beep because I want to feel how this is going. I want to get to a place where I'm able to get on the beep. Close, not bad, but I'm too high here. You see that? Try it again. Yeah, not bad. Getting a little better. I'm closer there. So I've been working on that being fast to the beat, okay? So now we're going to start here. So we're going to start with gun on hand, okay? And this is our micro drill this week. So, so hand on gun, we just work to that, right? So a couple things that I want to work on here. I'm going to close in so I do that, is I don't want to get close on the gun and then chicken wing my arms out here. I don't want to start into a bad spot. So how I work on that is I set myself up in my concealment, whatever, if I'm coming here out of a, um, you know, a defensive fence, or whatever again my elbows are in or if I'm hands down on my side which I don't generally like hands at the sides uh, from a defensive perspective right you know I might somebody might be like whoa what's going on oh there needs to come my gun but a lot of times you know a little safer from up here tuck my elbows again get everything kind of settled and then I'm gonna come and clear my cover garment get that on there now I'm gonna do that so then that way I'm kind of feeling okay here's that got it now my drill starts, okay? Once I have this here, now what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to get to the next part. So I'm going to notice no wasted motion. Gun comes up and out, gun comes over. Now you see I actually caught my, my cover garment there a little bit. That's instructive. So here we go. We get this here. We've got that covered. Great. Gun comes out and together. Now, 
I know, I know what this is going to do. Some people, especially if you're a strong side carrier, they've been taught and they get taught by the numbers, right? So one is with the hand on the gun, two is that the gun comes up and out, three that the gun comes to, you know, with the, the muzzle on target, what uh, Craig Douglas would call a, a thumb pectoral index. Nothing wrong with that at all. When I'm fighting with the gun, I'm going to do that. Then I put the hands together, drive the gun out and do my stuff. Now, sometimes folks from appendix carry are kind of thinking they have to do the same thing. They're gonna come here, they get the gun, they grab it here, and then they come back to here and then join their hands and go. I think that's a really bad idea. Uh, and I'll tell you why I think it's a bad idea. Because in that moment of a gunfight, do I know if I need to come to this back position? Yes, I do. If I go, man, I gotta get a gun out, I have positional dominance, but I wanna use a thumb pectoral index, then I'll just draw to the thumb pectoral index, the hands never come together. And, and say, if I'm on the side here and I go, nope, I'm going to be able to see my sights. I need to shoot somebody who is more than two arm lengths away. Well, then in that moment, I'm just going to draw the gun and drive it out. I'm not going to draw the gun, come here, then join. I'm, I'm going to pull that cover garment, I'm probably around here, pull this over the top, get the gun out, push the hands together and go. I'm not going to think about, did I come back to a thumb pectoral index? And so likewise, if I'm appendix carrying here, I come up here. Now here's the thing, I'm not coming back up here and setting and driving. What I'm doing is, is I think about it more like a J. And so from here, I get that, get the gun up, and then it comes up as it gets moving. Well, that's what I wanted to do. So, okay. So here's where we are, back to our micro drill. Gun is, is in hand. Great, everything is ready. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw the pistol, let go of my cover garment when the pistol comes up, and join my hands together in their natural position. Let's talk for a minute about where my natural position is, right? So here it is, and you can probably do it with me. I, I do this all the time in my classes, and, and people either usually think I'm an idiot or they chuckle. And here's how I know where my hands join, ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. That's where my hands come together, right? So I don't go, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. That's not what we do. If we're happy and we know it, clap our hands. We don't do that, right? Where your natural inclination is, is your elbows get kind of tucked to your side. Guess what? It's right where we started here. We go get the gun here. Hands are here. If I'm happy and I know it, clap my hands. Clap, clap. That's where my hands like to join, right? So if I'm here, where do my hands come together? Gun comes out, hands join together. If I'm happy and I know it, I clap my hands, drive the gun up and do my thing. This is the shortest path. Now I get it, you're gonna get taught sometimes that we come up high and then drive in an L. We come up and over. And there are times where that can be important. If I'm covering, you know, if I'm behind low cover or something like that, I think that's contextual though. So again, in my general CCW world, I'm not a cop drawing a gun from a duty holster from behind cover and those kind of things. In a general sense, if I have the space in front of me to drive the gun out in front of me, I'm going to get the gun, drive it up, and go to work. That's what I'm gonna do. So that's where I'm gonna join my hands. So let's think about this. I've pulled my cover garment and it is up here to my sternum. All right, fine. I grab, I like grabbing a handful at the belly button. You guys know that we're kind of right at the top of the gun. If you think my belly button's like right here. So the gun is close to that and I'll grab and pull up. That clears all the cover garment out of the way. And this shirt's actually too big for me now. Thank you, Jesus, right? Uh, so instead of a 2XL, which is this shirt, I should be in an XL now because I got too much shirt. So this is too much cover garment for me, but it's the one that Manus sent me. Forgive me, right? We'll figure that out again later. But, all right, so so again, I'm gonna go ahead here and come and grab, get a hold of this gun. Now I'm in my spot, and all I'm gonna do at the start is I'm gonna get out and push. Great, got it. Now I can go to there if I want to, but I don't have to, that's not the drill. Safely put the gun away. Leave my hand on it. Okay, all right, take it off, get that grip again, feel good. This is where I'm starting, my elbows are tucked, everything's good, now when it's time, and I go, go, get the gun out and get it in hand. Great, drive the gun out and do my thing is what I'll end up doing there. So, okay, cool. Now, once again, I'm going to grab everything, set everything up. Great, I'm right here. Feel good about that. All I'm gonna do is get the gun out, put it in hand. Great. Now, here's the fun part of that. If, God forbid, I had to, I've seen this in a couple of the narrated videos that you see people stick guns out too far in front of people. If I'm here and I hear, can I shoot somebody from here? Of course I can, bang, bang, bang. I have to do everything I need to for somebody that's at an arm length or less right here, no problem. So this is a great shooting position. I have anchored elbows, and so I've got good recoil control from here, and I can run this gun pretty hard from here if I need to. So, put the gun away again, set everything up, get hand on gun. 
right, good. Now, once I start getting after it, I can start doing it a little bit faster. So here's what I've got. Now here's, here's kind of the way that I'm going to do that. I'm going to set that, get that. Okay, good. Now, what am I adding here? I'm just adding a little bit of speed. I'm just adding a little bit of, I have to really kind of get after it because I've got the, my hand on the gun and then I'm going to push a little bit because here's the thing, if I really want to move fast, when I get the hand on gun, it's going to kind of bounce out of the holster. So I get a little pressure on the gun, push this. Good, got it in a good spot. That's exactly what I want. Good, now again, that felt pretty good to me. So I'm feeling like I'm all right. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to do. So I'm not tossing and I'm not, I'm not chucking this out of the way. I'm just letting it go, putting my hand on the gun that I can keep on going. So that's our task this week. You, if you wanna keep working on hand to gun, absolutely keep working on hand to gun. You can work from down here and again, come up to this spot. I can work from a, you know, a defensive fence. Hey man, I don't want any problems. I know it depends on who you talk to, right? I'm kind of this way. Um, and when I was talking to Cecil Birch about this, he was kind of this way. Larry Lindemann very much likes to kind of keep the hands back. He doesn't like this. He likes this instead. Which one's right? Work on it. See what is best for you. I kind of like the hands out a little bit. And, and so, hey man, I don't want any problems with you or whatever. Time to go get the gun. I'm here. Now I can shoot and I can do everything I need to. So my recommendation to you, 200 reps of dry fire in that this week. And then if you can get to a live fire you know, range later, you can work on shooting from this compressed ready position at short distances, say you know, two yards and in, and, and keep going from there. So many thanks to Mantis. Uh, this wasn't a Mantis-centered lesson today uh, because we're not pulling the trigger and doing those kinds of things, but these kind of drills will make you faster so that when we do get to those things, you are ready to go and you're quick. God bless you, everybody. Have a great week.